These are cartilaginous fish, meaning their skeletons are made of cartilage instead of bone, just like the sharks they're related to. They get their common name, cow nose, because the front of their face looks like a cow's nose. Can you see the resemblance? There are just under a dozen living species in the cow nose ray genus. These fish are found in coastal marine waters and estuaries in tropical and temperate waters around the world. They are most commonly seen in water no deeper than 72 feet. Cow nose rays spend most of their time along the surface of the ocean. People worry about this ray's sting, but because they tend to stay near the top of the water column, it's unlikely for someone to step on them, which is when most people get stung by these types of fish. A cow nose ray's stinger is located near the base of their tail, and in the event that a human is stung by them, which almost always happens in defense, the sting can be harmful, but it is not fatal. When these fish do swim along the bottom of the ocean, they are often searching for food. Cow nose rays use their large, wing-like fins to stir up the sediment and dig up crabs, clams, oysters, snails, and more. They use ampullae of Lorenzini, which detect the tiny electric fields their prey produce. A large group of cow nose rays can stir up so much sediment it makes the surrounding water cloudy. These fish use the lobes on their heads to help direct food into their mouths located on the underside of their bodies. This is similar to manta rays. After crushing prey with their plate-like teeth, they'll spit out the shells. Cow nose ray teeth are distinct, and we feel they look a little like a snake's belly scales. What do you think? Some cow nose ray species can reach over three feet in length from wingtip to wingtip, though others may not even reach half this size. Even with that size, these rays may still be eaten by sharks like hammerheads and bull sharks. They're also eaten by humans. Currently, some cow nose ray species, like the American, Pacific, and Javanese cow nose rays, are listed as vulnerable to extinction. It may take anywhere from four to eight years for these rays to reach reproductive maturity. They'll gather in large groups, and males may chase females around for a chance to breed with them. The females swim towards the water's surface and may even lift their fins out of the water to avoid mating. This can look like a shark's dorsal fin from a distance. Males attempt to grab the tips of the female's fins in their mouths, and multiple males may chase a female at once. They'll even jump out of the water to try and grab her. Other reasons cow nose rays may leap into the air include showing reproductive readiness and dislodging parasites, like the ocean sunfish. After mating, the female gestates for 6 to 12 months. The exact length of time isn't fully understood. The eggs are retained in her body and hatch inside her before being born live. Typically, a cow nose ray gives birth to a single pup, though some mothers have been seen with up to six full-term offspring. Cow nose rays may live to be 15 or older if they can survive the treacherous ocean. They go on oceanic migrations, where they may encounter any number of obstacles but they've been seen in groups numbering upwards of 10,000 individuals, so there is safety in numbers. For more facts on cow nose rays, check out the links below. Give a thumbs up if you learned something new today. Thank you to our patrons, SpikeSpiegel93, Dad, and everyone else for their support of this channel. Thank you to Elephant Puppet for today's request, and thank you for watching Animal Fact Files.